I didn't say 100% would come back. I said 67% from Connecticut. So I never promised we'd get back every penny. I do understand that you know, Bon Jovi's playing down there occasionally. By the way, all of our radio stations were in collusion for sending our people to Connecticut because they gave away free tickets. Um, we send people out of state constantly. What I'm saying is we're supposed to be the tourist destination. I'd like to do have a few more tourist resorts. This is just another resort destination. It's not supposed to be... Um, the only type of resort destination in Maine, and certainly if you go to Moosehead Lake or you go to Old Orchard Beach, you're going to have a very different resort experience. Today, if we tried to, if I was sitting here trying to talk you into putting a roller coaster on the beach, I'm pretty sure I'd have a tough time of it, although that is definitely Maine, that is definitely revenue to the local area, and that's definitely a resort destination. What if you're going to have a staycation? Because that's the trend right now. Why can't you have a staycation here in New England and have a nice time in a quaint little setting with a small little resort, not 12,000 employees like Foxwoods and 10,000 employees like Mohegan Sun, but 900 employees, with only 300 rooms in the hotels and four restaurants, so that people go into town and go to the other hotels and restaurants and shops. We've been approached, there's going to be retail space there, we've been approached by downtown businesses that want to have satellite shops there as well. We take our gubernatorial appointments confirmed by the Senate. Uh, this bypasses all that and, and parachutes him in. Now, they, he says he won't do that, but, you know, they're going to renegotiate this entire bill. He's certainly going to have some leverage there, because that will become law. I mean, that is the law. Whether, I mean, it doesn't give me comfort for Las Vegas to come in here and say, oh, pass this law, but we're not going to abide by the provisions. Don't worry about it. Because that, this is the law. This will become law. You know, the law that says, that lowers the gambling age from 21 to 19, the way it's written will affect Hollywood's law. I mean, I don't know what happens in December when this law becomes, if it passes, if a 19-year-old shows up at Hollywood slots, can I come in? Can they keep me out? I don't know. I, I asked the Gambit Control Board. That they didn't know either. So this is the problem with, with, with passing a law that has these provisions in them, and we're supposed to just not worry about them. And that's what it, I mean, I think the, the whole the question itself, that says a certain main company is no longer relevant. I mean, maybe it was once, but it's not a main company anymore. The profits are going to go out of state. It's not a main company. But the, the bill says a certain main company. Do you want to allow a certain main company? And the other thing about the 10-year moratorium, uh, I don't know if I'll be there keeping it in or not. The point I'm trying to make is uh, that seems to undercut their argument that this is economic development. If it's economic development, why not let Calais have one? Why not let Portland have one? I mean, why not? This is economic development for the owner of this particular casino.